Hello students, today we are going to discuss JE Main 2025 questions from a high weightage chapter units and dimension April atom. So we are going to discuss all the questions in detail. Before that we have a page in Instagram and WhatsApp channel. Do join in the channel to explore more regarding physics. Now we will get into the video. In this video we are going to completely work under dimension formulas. So for that I will give you a small tip. So whatever quantity let it be, it will be related with force and energy. So if you know the dimension formula for these two quantity, it will be very easy to solve most of the question. So the dimension formula for the force is ml t power minus 2. So whatever be the type of force, the dimension formula is same. You can take gravitation force, electrostatic force, magnetic force. For all the type of force, you have same dimension and same unit. So the unit is Newton. And same way, for work and energy, whatever be the type of work and energy, for all the type of work and energy, you have the same dimension that is m l square t power minus 2 and the unit will be joule. Okay, so if it's type of energy means you can take heat energy, light energy, sound energy, gravitation, potential energy and electrostatic energy. So for all the type of energy and work, you have same dimension and same unit. Okay, so now we'll see the questions. Okay, we'll see the first question. We have to find the dimension formula for the following quantity. First one is mass density. So, formula for mass density. Density is equal to mass by volume. In the place of volume, I can take volume of a cube or cuboid. Here, I'm going to take volume of a cube. You can write it as A cube. Okay, that is equal to, we'll write the dimension formula. For mass, we can write it as M. Where A is a side which comes under length. So, we can write it as L cube. That is equal to M L power minus 3. Okay. So, mass density A matches with 4, okay. Next one is impulse. So, for the impulse, you can write the formula. Impulse is equal to force into time. We know the dimension formula for the force. That is m l t power minus 2. For time, we can write it as t power 1. So, that is equal to m l t power minus 1, okay. So, the impulse B matches with 2. And third one is power. So, for power, we can take the general formula. Power is equal to work by time. So, for work and energy, we have the same dimension, which is m l square t power minus 2. So, for time, we can write it as t power 1. So, if we calculate this means, we will get it as m l square t power minus 3. Okay. So, C matches with 1. And last one is moment of inertia. So, for moment of inertia, I is equal to m r square. So, m is a mass, we can write it as m and r is a distance, comes under length, so it is l square. Okay, so the d matches with 3. So, we will check the option, option 3 is the right answer. Next question, again we have to find the dimension formula for this following quantity. First one is gravitation constant. To find the gravitation constant, we can choose the formula. F is equal to g m1 m2 by r square, where g is a gravitation constant, so we will reform the equation. So, G is equal to F R square by M1 M2. So, we will substitute the dimension formula. So, G is equal to in the place of F, we can substitute M L T power minus 2. Where R is a distance, so we can write it as L square. And divide by in the place of mass, we can write M M. Okay. So, M M will get cancelled. Balance M power minus 1 L power 3 T power minus 2. Okay. So, the A gravitation constant A will match with 4. Next one is gravitation potential energy. So, for all the type of energy, you have the same dimension, which is m l square t power minus 2. So, we can match it directly. B will match with 3. And next one is gravitation potential. For gravitation potential, we can take the formula. V is equal to minus g m by r. Okay. So, already we found the dimension formula for the gravitation constant. So, we will substitute here. So, it will be m power minus 1, l power 3, t power minus 2. Again, in the place of mass, we can substitute m and divide by in the place of distance, we can substitute l. So, m power minus 1, m power plus 1, this two will get cancelled. So, l and this will get cancelled, we became l square. So, for gravitation potential v, we can write it as l square t power minus 2. So, gravitation potential c will match us with 2. And last one is acceleration due to gravity. So, it has the dimension of acceleration only. Again, if you want, we can find that is g is equal to g m by r square. So, again, we will substitute the value in the place of g. We can substitute m power minus 1, 
L power 3 T power minus 2. The place of M we can substitute M. The place of R the distance will substitute as L square. So again M, M will get cancelled. So L square and this L cube in this L square will get cancelled. Balance L T power minus 2. So again we got the dimension of acceleration only. So D will match with 1. So we'll check the option. Option 1 is the right answer. Next one. So it's a most important question. Again we have to find the dimension formula for this quantity. But it's like a little bit higher level quantity. First one coefficient of viscosity. So we can take the formula. F is equal to 6 pi eta. Where eta is a coefficient of viscosity. R into V. Where R is a radius. V is a velocity. So coming to dimension formula. We will not take the constants like 6 pi. So we can neglect that. Balance coefficient of viscosity is equal to force by R V. So we will substitute the dimension formula. Coefficient of viscosity is equal to. In the place of force we can substitute M L T power minus 2. And radius is L. And velocity is L T power minus 1. So L L will get cancelled. Balance M L power minus 1 and T power minus 1. So this is coefficient of viscosity. So A matches with 4. So second one is intensity of wave. So to find the intensity of wave, we can take a general formula. Intensity is equal to power by area. In first question, we found the dimension for the power. So we can substitute directly that is m l square t power minus 3. The area comes under l square because it's meter square. So we can write it as l square. L square l square will get cancelled. Balance m t power minus 3. Okay. So b will match with 1 and pressure gradient. So, to find the pressure gradient, we can take the formula. So, pressure gradient, we can take the formula change in pressure with respect to the position. So, always gradient means with respect to the position. So, we can take it as del x. So, for pressure, we can take the formula force by area and we can write del x as x which comes under length. So, we will substitute the dimension formula that is equal to in the place of force which is m l t power minus 2. For area, again we can write it as L square. So again we have a portion, again we can write it as L. So L, L will get cancelled, balance M, L power minus 2, T power minus 2. Okay, so the pressure gradient will match us with 2. So last one is compressibility. Compressibility is the reciprocal of bulk modulus. We know the formula for the bulk modulus from the properties of fluids we have come across the formula. That is change in pressure into original volume. Divide by change in volume. The change in volume will go to the numerator. So volume and change in volume both will have a same dimension. So we can neglect that. Balance we have pressure. So for pressure we can take the formula force by area. So we can write it as force and area will go to the numerator. Okay. So now we will substitute the dimension formula. For area we can write it as L square. For the force we can write it as M L T power minus 2. So this L L will get cancelled. Balance M power minus 1 L and t power minus 2 okay so compressibility d will match with 3 okay check the option option 2 is the right answer question in previous question we found the dimension formula for coefficient of viscosity that is m l power minus 1 t power minus 1 so b will match us with 4 so first one is boltzmann constant so the formula is from heat and thermodynamics that is energy is equal to 3 by 2 kvt where kb is a boltzmann constant t is a temperature so for dimension formula, we will not consider 3 by 2. So balance Boltzmann constant is equal to energy by time. So we'll substitute the dimension formula for energy M L square T power minus 2. For temperature, we can write it as K. So Boltzmann constant KB is equal to M L square T power minus 2 K power minus 1. Okay. So Boltzmann constant A matches with 3. And next one Planck's constant. For Planck's constant, we can take any formula. Either you can take energy is equal to H nu or you can take it as de Broglie wavelength formula. Okay, so here I am going to use this formula where nu is a frequency. Okay, so we have to find H. So H is equal to E by nu where nu is a frequency. We can write energy. So for frequency, where frequency is a reciprocal of time period, we can write it as 1 by T. So we can substitute as 1 by time period. So, T will go to the numerator. And now we will substitute the dimension. So, H is equal to in the place of energy we can substitute M L square T power minus 2. For time period we can write it as T power 1. So, it will become 
m l power 2 t power minus 1 okay so c will match with 1 last one is thermal conductivity most important for thermal conductivity we can take the formula q by t where q is a heat energy that is equal to k k is a thermal conductivity a is a area and del t is a change in temperature by length l okay so first we'll reform the formula that is uh, we need k so we'll k keep it in one side k is equal to q l by t a and change in temperature okay now we'll substitute the dimension formula q is a heat energy so we can substitute the dimension of energy that is m l square t power minus 2 and coming to l we can write it as length by again time we can write it as t for area we can write it as l square for temperature we can we'll substitute as k okay so here l square l square will get cancelled balance m l t power this will be plus 1 it's going to the numerator it will become minus 3 and k power minus 1 okay so d will matches with 2 okay so we'll check the option option 1 is the right answer next one is statement type question so we'll see the first statement the dimension of Planck's constant and angular momentum are same so to check this statement first we have to find the dimension formula first one is Planck's constant so in previous problem we have found the dimension formula for Planck's constant that is m l square t power minus 1 so second one is angular momentum so formula for the angular momentum l is equal to mvr where m is a mass so m v is a velocity so we can write l t power minus 1 r is a distance so l power 1 so uh, the answer is l is equal to m l square t power minus 1 okay so now we can see the dimension for the Planck's constant and angular momentum are same so first statement is correct so coming to second statement in Bohr model electron revolves around the nucleus only in those orbit for which the angular momentum is integral multiply of Planck's constant so angular momentum l is equal to nh by 2 pi so it's a integral multiply of Planck's constant by 2 pi they have given only the Planck's constant so it's an incorrect statement okay so statement 1 is correct statement 2 is incorrect we'll check the option option 3 is the right answer okay in previous problems we have seen dimension formula here they are asking the unit directly so first we have to write the formula for this respective quantities the first one is heat capacity for heat capacity formula q is equal to h into delta t where h is a heat capacity so h is equal to q by delta t where q is a heat energy comes under joule where delta t is a temperature by k so that will be joule k power minus 1 okay so heat capacity will match us with 2 and second one b is a specific heat capacity so formula for that is q is equal to m s delta t where s is a specific heat capacity so s is equal to q by mass into del t so in the place of q that is heat energy will substitute joule for mass we can write it as kg and for temperature kelvin so we can write it as joule kg power minus 1 kelvin power minus 1 so b will match us with 3 and third one is latin heat for latin heat you can take the formula that is q is equal to m into l where l is a latin heat so l is equal to q by mass so for q it's joule okay for mass it's kg so if you're taking inverse mass it is joule kg power minus 1 so c matches with 1 so last one is thermal conductivity so for thermal conductivity in previous problem we found the dimension formula here they are asking the unit so we can take the same formula that is q by t is equal to k a t change in temperature by l so here we can write it as k is equal to q l by t a into change in temperature that is equal to for q heat energy joule for length meter well for by time we can write it as second area is meter square change in temperature is kelvin okay so here the meter meter will get cancelled balance we can write it as joule meter inverse second inverse kelvin inverse okay so the d matches with 4 we'll check the option option 4 is the right answer next one it's most important and famous question if mu naught and epsilon naught are permeability and permittivity of a free space then the dimension of 1 by mu naught epsilon 
So to find the dimension, we have a formula in electromagnetic way that is C is equal to 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught. Okay. So here we need 1 by mu naught epsilon. So I'm going to square it on both the sides. So C square is equal to 1 by mu naught epsilon naught. Okay. So 1 by mu naught epsilon naught is equal to C square where C is a velocity of light. So we can substitute as L t power minus 1 the whole square that will be L square t power minus 2. Okay. Or you can write it as L square by t square. We'll check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. So we'll see the last question of this session. The dimension of root of mu naught epsilon naught. So you have a direct formula. The square root of mu naught epsilon naught is equal to impedance of a free space. So they call it as impedance. Impedance is a type of resistance. So it will come under resistance. Option 4 is the right answer. Okay, students, we came to end of the session. If you have any doubts or queries regarding this video, please do comment it. And to watch more video like this, like and share this video. Thank you, students.